Previously, we saw how to set up Mule standalone server and deploy the application to it. This was part one of the hybrid deployment where we configured the runtime plane on the premise. So in this video, we will register this on-prem runtime with the Cloud Hub based AnyPoint platform. So as you can see, the part one has been completed in the previous video. And now we are focusing on registering this runtime with the Cloud Hub based AnyPoint platform. So we have will be registering a runtime plane with the control plane. So if you haven't seen the previous video, I would recommend you to view the previous video. Uh, the link is in description or it would come oh, at the top right corner in the suggestion cards So it would give you a better idea before watching uh, this video So to register our runtime with any point uh, Platform we need to log in to your any point uh, account uh, Any point dot go to any point dot .com, enter your credentials and log in now what we need to do is we need to add a server so the to add a server click on add server and it will give us a command and we have to copy this command and run it so it says to add the server in the environment we have to cd into bin directory and execute the following command okay so let's go to the run time so this is our runtime folder there is a bin folder and we have to open a command prompt here okay now we need to execute the command but this command is for linux based system since it is a windows machine i'll have to modify it let's remove this and amc setup dot pat so if you notice we already have a file called amc setup dot bat so once we run this command the batch file would get executed and let's enter a server name there is an option of adding a server name as well so let's enter the server name i'll name this server as on prem server okay and let's hit enter So as you can see, it's uh, doing some installation um, for Mule agent. Okay, so the Mule agent has been configured successfully. Now let's see. So if you can see, our on-prem server has been registered successfully with the status as created. So, but while running the command, there were a bunch of steps that were performed. So let's try to understand what exactly happened to facilitate this registration of our on-prem server with the uh, AnyPoint platform. So to understand, let's open up a diagram. So what exactly happened over here is, if you can see, it started off with Mule Agent Installer, right? So the mule agent gets installed once this mule agent is installed it performs a two-way ssl handshake with the anypoint management center if you remember the file that we used was amc.bat so the amc stands for anypoint management center so it this mule agent exchange performed a two-way SSL handshake generated certificates and verified with any point management center once this process was completed the registration was successful so if you can see over here let me go back to the conf folder and you can see there are two files that got generated see uh, if you see the timestamp other of other files it's different but the timestamp of this okay there are three different files with the same timestamp any point trust store jks mule agent jks and mule agent.yaml 
So this shows that the certificates were exchanged and a two-way SSL handshake was performed. And if you can see the timestamp, see, oh, it's 15.40 right now and it was generated at 15.30. So in this way, the, there was a communication established between the agent and the Anypoint Management Center and it got registered. So the same thing you can see over here, it unpacked the mule agent, got installed and uh, see, uh, communication is authorized by using two-way SSL verification and then uh, it got configured successfully. Now, the server is created, but since the server is not running, it shows the status as created. So what we'll do is we'll start up the server, okay? So let's go back to bin folder and this is our folder and alone bin and run let's run mule.bat you can also use mule start command so when you hit enter the mule server along with the mule agent will start in the same jvm okay see uh, as i said tanuki service wrapper it's asking me permission Okay, there's some problem, just a minute. So yeah, uh, it got started. Not sure there might have been some error, but it's working right now. So it should uh, update the status over here once the server is up and running. See, if you can see connecting to host runtime manager dot any point dot mule soft and it's being performed by mule agent. Right, so it's registering. See, now you can see the server is up and running. Okay, so we have successfully established the link between an on-prem and the control plane so this is the on-prem and this is the control plane now what if we wish to deploy an application so let's just uh, deploy a simple application let's go to application and this application would be installed on a on-prem server instead of cloud hub as you can see over here the server is cloud hub for this particular application which was created in previous videos so let's deploy an application and let's name it as first app deployment target is on-prem server okay so let's load an application i'll use the same application which i had used in the previous video okay demo app target and this is the jar file that I wish to upload. So let's click on deploy application. So it's uploading the jar. Let's see if we see any log. Okay, it was uploaded successfully and it's deploying. Okay, see, uh, it, it says it got deployed. See, uh, if you can see, uh, in the server it's initializing on-prem app uh, first app and over here the status is starting it takes some time let's wait Okay, so as you can see, the application is started and it has been deployed to our on prem server. So let's try to hit and uh, see if things are working. 
So the port is same as in previous video, it's 8081 and a simple hello world program. So if everything has been done successfully, we should be able to see a hello world output. So if you can see, we have the hello world output. So meaning that we were able to successfully configure the reg register the runtime with the AnyPoint platform using the Mule agent. And we have deployed the application from the control plane to the runtime plane as opposed to the previous method where we deployed the application manually to the runtime plane. So here, if you can see, uh, yeah, it's not showing here. I'm not sure, but see if you uh, the details are present uh, that, that the application was getting installed. So in, uh, this is how we have completed the establishing of a link between the control plane and the runtime plane.